Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and today we're answering your questions all about mitral valve repair surgery. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Stephen Bowling, who is a leading cardiac surgeon at Michigan Medicine in Ann Arbor, Michigan. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Bowling has performed over 7,000 cardiac procedures, of which more than 5,000 involved some form of heart valve repair or heart valve replacement. Dr. Bowling, thanks as always for being with us today. Adam, good to see you again. It's great to be with you. Great to see everybody on heartvalvesurgery.com. Yeah, and so we're answering patient questions, Dr. Bowling, and this one came in from Ann. She says, do all mitral valve repairs involve an annuloplasty ring? Adam and Ann, that's a really great question. The short answer is yes. Yes, they do. You should put a ring on it because Beyonce says put a ring on it, put a ring on it. Why we put a ring on it is very interesting. And this is for patients who have their mitral valve leaking. They have mitral regurgitation. The ring is there is to reinforce the annulus. If you think of it, when your valve is leaking, you're putting a significant amount backwards. And of course, you're putting it forwards. And if you think about it, roughly a human will put 60 milliliters with each and every heartbeat forward, 60. And hopefully you're putting zero backwards. But now when your valve is leaking a lot, you're putting both 60 forward and 60 backwards. And if you add that up and the heart does, it says, oh my gosh, I have to move 120 milliliters of blood to keep this patient alive. Now, what happens is the heart starts to expand and it pulls the native annulus apart. Now, whatever has caused that leakage, we can fix. We do something to the leaflets. We put cords on, we resect it. We fix it one way or the other. But when we're done, we want to have that annulus about this size. That is about the size of my mitral annulus. And if you look at it, as Adam, you know, I'm very, very tall. My annulus is only about two and a half or 2.6 centimeters across. Now, some of the patients with mitral regurgitation, we measure, and that diameter has now become four centimeters across. So it's pulled open. So what, whatever we do to get that Roman arch, to get the leaflets to come up and catch normally, once we're done with that, we have to pleat that forward to get it to this size, but then to hold it in that size, we sew a ring on there. That's reinforced because we have to assume that that native annulus has become sort of like a broken rubber band, so overstretched, and it will just keep going. And then you're leaking again a year later, five years later, and that's no good. So we put that ring on there. That ring stays in there forever. Within about 30 days, that becomes part of you. What I tell my patients is when I'm dead, there'll be a pile of dust. And when they're dead, there'll be a pile of dust in a little ring. It'll be there. It's part of them. So that's why we put an annular ring on everybody. And in fact, the data shows if you don't put a ring on, your recurrence rate is much, much higher, maybe eight or 10 times higher. That is absolutely fascinating. I hope that helped you and learn why Dr. Bowling and mitral valve experts use annual plasty rings. And Dr. Bowling, as always, thanks so much for taking the time away from your very busy practice there at Michigan Medicine in Ann Arbor to help educate all the patients here at heartvalvesurgery.com. Adam, thanks a lot. And Ann, thank you for that very, very good question. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.